hello everyone welcome to a new video today we will be seeing some questions based on functions and we will be seeing the solution how to do those programs now let's check the first program write a c++ program to find the following sin x cos x tan x square root power absolute value so these are the functions these are inbuilt functions and we will be seeing how to write a program using them. So, then function here first math.h is required to use these functions, and we are directly getting a value x and y from the user, and then we are using this built in function to find out the values of all those functions. So, this gives our gives sine cos tan values of the particular entered value this will give you the square root of the particular value this will show you the power that means exponent x raised to y value and this should give you the value in a positive positive value of any value which is entered let's check the output enter a value so here i am entering sine x is 0 and y is 1 let's check so so many values are displayed here sine of x is 0 that means sine of 0 is 0 cos of 0 is 1 tan of 0 is 0 because tan is sine by cos next is square root that is 0 power is 0 And absolute value of x is 0 so we have to check with other values square root let's check one more output um, this time I'm using 4 as x and 2 as y so if you check for square root square root of 4 is 2 square power of x that means power of x and y that means 4 raised to 2 that is 4 square that is 4 to 4 is 16 that is the output absolute value is 4 and let's check one more time with negative value to find the absolute value so I am entering here minus 9 let's check the output and this time I am entering 1 plus y so absolute value of x is 9 so that is also the output so separately also you can write as a program in the same program you can display all these outputs so this is the built-in function of these mathematical functions second program is write a program to find out the entered value is an alphabet or a digit so let's check how this works So this is the next program it is to find the digit uh, entered character is a digit or a alphabet so or we have to use is alpha and is digit in such program let's check upon the program see here first one is zero zero that means is alpha 8 is not an alphabet so 0 is returned second one 6 is also not an alphabet 0 is returned third one is it's true it is returning a non uh, zero value next one is also true that is again a non zero value you are getting next one is is digit 6 yes it since it is true it is giving a non zero value and is digit of c c is not a digit so it is returning a zero so these are the values that you get also don't forget to use this c type dot h header file because based on this this is alpha is digit will be working let's check the next program is write a c plus plus program to show the use of the following function is alnum alnum is upper is lower so this is al alphabet or numeric alpha numeric values if you have this will be set to true 
it will check whether the values are uppercase or lowercase check. let's check the program this program is for checking the alphanumeric value whether the entire character is alphanumeric so in this case we are taking a character as x and we are reading it and then using this function if the function your built-in function of that value is true then display this message if it is not you have to display it's not an alphanumeric value okay let's check the output it's running there uh, so i'm entering a so it should display it's an alphanumeric value that's true now let's run it again Ninety-seven. Again, it is an alphanumeric value. It has in numbers in that. Let's again run with some other values. At the rate percentage, and then enter. So it's not an alphanumeric value. So put is given here. Let's check the next program. So. In this program, you have to use is upper or is low, or lower, and you have to check the same thing for upper case and lower case also. Let's do it for upper case and lower case. So we are now we are checking is lower function. So I'm entering a lower case value, and let's check it's a lower case letter. Again, I'll run the output with the other value. Give me cap upper case U, then check. It's showing us upper case letter. So this program is working out. And if you want to use is upper function also, you can just replace it here is upper, and then display the value as upper case letter, and then otherwise it is a lower case letter. So just you have to invert the program. That's it. Let's see the next program. So plus plus program to convert upper case A to lowercase a and lowercase b to capital A or uppercase a. uppercase b let's check so next one is uh, converting to the uppercase and lowercase letter so let's check this is the program just you are writing it and directly you are inputting the value and here character so that the value gets converted to character let's check why we are using it run the program so you get b and lowercase a so if we want uppercase a we have to again change it in that manner so now you, your result should be lowercase a and uppercase b so this is the output you can just invert it the order and just check if you are not using this care function what will be the output it will display the value as key value of that particular alphabet if you use the care it will display the character character value but that is the difference between both both this why when we use this care otherwise it will display the sq value okay next program thank you for watching we will continue the program in the next video